it's when I see stuff like this as I drive by the Venetian and see that they drained the water out that I look at F1 as more of a cash grab than anything else. That's just ridiculous. A total shit show. And honestly, I'm not seeing this new version of F1 being any better than the Caesars Palace Grand Prix was. True, the drivers said they hated the course for the Caesars Palace Grand Prix. They said it was boring, it wasn't fun to drive. And I get it, the new F1 is right down the city streets, down the strip in Las Vegas, and it's probably a lot more fun to drive, but at what cost? Because they've gone through the city with what looks like a giant chainsaw and cut it all up, and now our beautiful strip looks like the garage pit row for NASCAR or any other motorsport. I'm gonna try to be a little objective in this video because I really don't know how to make it. I always try to promote Las Vegas and this video is definitely not about Las Vegas. It's about F1. And um, we're gonna try to find a positive about it. We're gonna go walk the course, Joe and I, straight out of Vegas. We're gonna go take a look at the course. I'm gonna look at it from a motorsports fan point of view and I'm gonna look at it as a Las Vegas local point of view. Try to find some kind of positive. I don't think there's gonna be much though because I've already looked. <laughs> Let's check it out. This is from the top of the Ellis Island parking garage. And those are the grandstands right there for part of the F1 race track. I'm gonna walk down there and get a look at the grandstands. But we're right across the street from the finish line, the new paddock, I guess you call it, for F1. There's been a lot of videos put out the past few weeks about F1 and what it's done to the Las Vegas Strip. And to be honest, I haven't come down to see any of it. I haven't looked at any of the construction. I haven't really been following it on the news. We drove through some of it and it is a freaking disaster, it really is. But let's see just how bad it's torn up the Las Vegas Strip. And right over here on Harmon and Koval is the brand new paddock pit lanes, pit area, grandstand. I'm gonna try to get as close to this stuff as I can. And you can see some of the stands over here right across from Ellis Island going down Cobalt, which is part of the track too. Let's just talk about Joe's shirt for a minute. What? <laughs> That's pretty awesome, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Ellis Island has their own viewing platform of the track. And then of course, they have all this fencing up for passerbys to not be able to see the race as they go by. Though, I'm seeing a giant hole in the fence here, so I'm wondering what's gonna happen on race day with this. This is just business entry for right now from what I'm seeing. I'm sure this will all be blocked off as the racetrack is actually right here in front of us. And the grandstands that track all the way down Koval. See if I can zoom in the construction workers that are actually still working in there. And this is, what, a week away from the race? They're still building these things? Right next to Ellis Island's viewing platforms is their very own grandstand, it looks like. 
the thing about this side of F1 is across over here where these grandstands were, that was just a parking lot from old resort that was torn down years ago. I don't even remember what it was, but so that's not really an eyesore. I don't really care about it. Actually, it looks better than the dirt lot that was there, the grandstands. But all this other stuff is kind of, uh, it, it's, it's not good. have these fun little pedestrian walkways while they're working on all this but we're coming up on the main grandstand right now and I believe this is turn uh, I believe this is turn four right here that we're coming up on that we're gonna walk across in front of we're gonna be coming out of here so it's haul ass and turn left So yeah, we're literally standing in turn four of the F1 racetrack. Joe's over there getting some shots right now. And uh, they are gonna be hauling ass as soon as they make this turn. But there is literally construction everywhere. It's not just confined to the strip, it's confined to everything off the strip that they're gonna be driving these cars on. Not just the road, the grandstands. With all the money this costs to do, why are they hiring fan support? What'd you call them, Joe? Uh, actors. Fan actors? Did they not sell enough seats? Why are all the packages half price now? Grandstands over here at the paddock are literally just construction scaffolding on steroids. Seriously. They even have a lift right here. For those that may need it, maybe handicap ADA. It's just super construction scaffolding, that's all it is. So I've walked all the way down Koval from turn four down here to Harmon, where they're gonna come off the strip and pass this other grandstand right here. And then they're gonna make a turn on turn 14, which takes them down through the paddock and then back around to where we just were standing in front of uh, Ellis Island. But this right here is just another one of the grandstands that comes off of Harmon. So they'll be hauling ass down through here. This right here is the straightaway off of turn 14 for the start finish line down the chute through the main grandstands. And of course, all the structure that they put into place for this race, for the lights, because this is a night race, which uh, I find a little unfair myself, but it is what it is. Now imagine hauling ass right down this chute. Too much fun. I just have a feeling when I get to the strip side of this, I'm not gonna be happy with what I see. Over here, it's really not covering up a lot of, uh, it's not really covering up a lot of landmarks or things that we really want to see when we're on the strip. Just village pub. Yeah, just the village pub, that's all. But we know where that is. Ellis Island. Ellis We're gonna make the turn on turn 14 now. And as Joe said, the Jeep Cherokee is gonna make it for the start finish line. Just kidding. now on the F1 racetrack. 
if everybody just get out of the way, we can start this race. So now I believe we're on turn six, going into seven, coming around the sphere and heading down sands this way. More grandstands to the left there. The cars come right between the grandstands and the sphere. I don't know how exactly they're gonna make this turn. It seems like a really, yeah, it's a really tight turn, isn't it? Yep, and zip off right through here. Hey, look down here. There he is. <laughs> That's cool. Down here. There you go. Thank you. I told him to look down here. You look down here. Honestly, what I'm seeing here is the streets of Las Vegas being cut to pieces and a traffic disaster, all for one race, one time a year. It's a little bit crazy. Also, what I'm seeing is this amazing marvel behind me. This sphere truly is a cool, cool work of art. What I'm trying to do is navigate this map that we've been looking at all day and follow the track around and try to discern what corners are what as we wander our way through the F1 course. And I promise I'll learn how to speak English at some point. Enunciation mark, it is key. This is a hard video to tackle for me because I'm not one of those YouTubers that like gives you every single bit of information. I'm just kind of trying to wander around the track and show you how Vegas has been cut up for this race. Now there's a lot of areas where it doesn't really make a difference, but as we get closer to the strip, I think you're gonna see there where it's an eyesore and where most of the complaining that people are doing is what has been blocked on the strip and what has been taken off the strip. But as far as I'm concerned over here, it's just ugly. I know what it's for from a motorsports fan kind of a aspect. I think it's really cool to see and I know the race is gonna be fun to see, but the words are it's gonna take, by the time they get it all down, it's gonna to have to go back up again for next year's race. And I believe we have a contract with F1 for seven years. So we'll see. As I'm sitting in my car looking around the strip, waiting in this traffic that's not 100% because of F1, I mean, weekend traffic in Las Vegas is really never good on the Las Vegas Strip, but what happens if this fails? What happens if this turns out to really be the cash grab that it could be and it fails? What happens to all this infrastructure that's all over Las Vegas? I mean, obviously they gotta take this stuff off the Strip, but what about everything else? Is it just gonna turn into another abandoned eyesore, a failed project that didn't work? And uh, really inconvenienced everybody while they were building it? Yeah, and these are the grandstands that cover the Mirage that partially are in the volcano. So as I come down here, I look at this on the strip. It is, it's ugly. It's not a, uh, it's not very fun to look at. These uh, patio restaurants have packages up to $2,000 per person to watch F1 from their patio. And they have uh, a whole drink and lunch type of special set up in that. I don't know exactly which ones it are, they are, but I was looking at some of the prices online. I don't, I don't know if it's a Lexus or, there's another one out here somewhere. 
$2,000 per person to sit up over by the glass on the edge there to watch the race. What happened if an errant, errant tire gets you? This would be your view of the Bellagio Fountains right now, guys. Isn't it a great show? Can you see it through all that glass and steel and all these lights that are hanging up here? You can hear the music though, so if you listen to the music, you can just imagine the beautiful water show on the other side of all of this steel. So I walked down here to try and catch the rest of the fountain show, the Bellagio. I missed it. What I shown a couple seconds ago was basically all I got. But this is what sucks about this. I walked all the way down there hoping to get towards the Las Vegas Strip. And halfway down this ramp, no access to Las Vegas Boulevard beyond this point. Please proceed to walkway. That is a load of crap. But that is why the grandstands that block the fountains are the reason why we have no access to the strip right now. They literally are just taking a hacks out of the Las Vegas strip to put this stuff in here. And look what it has brought. Scumbag people that don't know what a trash can looks like. This is just disgusting, all of it. It's freaking everywhere. As much as I'd like to say F1 is good for Vegas, I honestly, in my own opinion, don't think it is. I think it's good for the resorts. I think it's good for F1. As far as tourism goes, I think it offers nothing for tourism because it's just too freaking expensive. And they've gone through our city with a hacksaw and cut it apart to put these god awful grandstands everywhere for a bunch of cars to go zooming by. I don't agree with it. And I don't think it's good for Las Vegas. So when you're done with the shit show that F1 is turning into, about 15 minutes away from the mess, not even 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes away, is Letty's. And I've never eaten here before. Joe swears by it. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna end our video right here with some tacos, because tacos are life. How was this place, Joe? It was good, last time I've been here, <laughs> two years ago. We walked F1 today. Well, I limped F1 today. Um, what do you think? What do you think it's doing to the city? I mean, give me your honest opinion on what on what you saw today as far as cutting up the strip and everything. <sighs> Straight out of Vegas here, guys. Uh, I'm using the DJI mic number two to speak to you. Hope this comes in very clearly. But, uh, you know, as a Las Vegas logo, it's a big pain in the ass. And uh, it honestly, it looks like a big eyesore with all these uh, grandstands blocking uh, our uh, beautiful casinos on the strip. You know what I mean? Uh, it's causing tons of traffic. None of us can afford to go and see it. I mean, who's this really for? I don't know. But hey, I'm using this really cool mic, so can you hear me? Do I sound good? Back to Mark. And this is why we're friends, because him like me can't take anything serious <laughs> at all, ever.
let's pretend that I've had Bidia burritos before because um, that was the best one I have ever eaten. That burrito was so good. Joe's considering ordering one to take no. home and he didn't even taste mine. <laughs> That's how good it was. Holy crap. <laughs>